Okay, example two. I've got 12 biscuits, five digestives and seven chocolate. I take two biscuits from the tin. So, like the previous question, where it wasn't replaced, you assume that if something is eaten, in other words, it's about food, then it's not replaced. So obviously, if you eat a biscuit, you can't replace it. So that you assume that that's eaten or it's non-replacement. So if it's eaten, you assume non-replacement. So you want probably that I choose two different types of biscuits. So you can either have digestive and chocolate, or you can have chocolate and digestives. They're the two ways of getting two different types of biscuit. So just be careful, there's two different ways. So what's the process of getting a digestive the first time? Well, there's five out of 12. What's the process of getting a chocolate then after you've taken the digestive? So there's still seven chocolate ones, but now there's one less biscuit because you've taken a digestive in the first one. So that goes down to 11. That's to do with non-replacement. What do you do to them? You want both of them, you want and, so it's times. And the second one, chocolate, well that's 7 out of 12, times by, still 11 the second time. And how many digestives are there? There's 5. So, 5 7s, 35. And then 12 times 11 is 1, 3, 2. And if you notice, all the numbers are the same. The bottom, the denominator is going to be the same. And the top, just the numbers are switched around also 35. What do you do to those two? Well, you want either digestive and chocolate or chocolate and digestive. So you would add those together. Same denominator, stays the same. At the top, 70 out of 132. Hope that makes sense. Now you can have a go at the task on Hegarty yourself.